Drift Lord, it's Holly Bennett. It's day three of Gamescom, which marks the end of the third day here for press and the final day for press as well. Um, sadly, Maurice Tan had an accident. So we've replaced him with Brit Toys' Daniel Sito, who we found wandering around the show floor looking ever so lost and sad. And he's of course, just as, uh, he's almost just as Asian as the other one. So almost just as Asian, but 100%. You're more Asian. I'm more Asian than the other one. So it's even better. Wah. Better Asians. We found a better Asian than before. And of course, Daniel Kano, who you guys have been seeing from the videos anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. So uh, one thing we'll talk about today, apart from what we've seen, is uh, game of the show. What we're starting to think oh, about. Oh, shit, yeah. At the end of every Gamescom, you've got to think about what game you're going to name game of the show. And it's so far causing a hell of a lot of arguments among Team Destructoid. I think especially since we don't see everything at the same time, yeah. but we all go to see different things, so... We all have different impressions. So, so since tough. he's the new boy, should we let him start? Yes. Come on then, give me the show. Uh, I'd say, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'd say, I think Rayman. Rayman Origins. I really, really what? like Rayman Origins. Yeah. I think that and maybe um, something like, I don't know, Mario Kart 7 that just really, really surprised me. But every time I think, I just always think Rayman. You see, I went to see Rayman at the Ubisoft booth and I was really unimpressed. We saw the multiplayer, which is what y I'm, you've seen as yeah. well, yeah. which is on the show floor. And um, honestly, clusterfuck. Like, we had four people playing, didn't even know what they were doing. Like, one would, you know, the two would rush ahead, then two would get chopped off at the very end. And it just didn't seem, it didn't light my fire the same way the single player that we had seen at E3 did. The m I think the main problem with it is that the uh, two characters that aren't the blue guy or Rayman um, how it looked basically the same. The one has the dark green coat, the other one has a black one, so it's mm. really fucking hard to just distinguish each other. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. had the two toads, but at least they were blue and yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, blue and yellow. So but so it's at least like a big contrast. That, and I mean, do you remember what level you played? Because they got three levels, and yeah, the, yeah, what the second one is. There was one about, uh, one was in the air, lots of blowing around in the air, mm -hmm. floating, and the first one. Did it have like a lot of bees or flies? Kind of. Yeah, like kind of black, like a little, like a swarm. Because that level was actually really no, hard. No, 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 no. It was all like, um, just like, there's like wind tunnels, and the idea is, is the other characters have to float along, and you have to hit the wind tunnels at the right point. If you don't, you fall and die, and if you. Wind do, tunnels? Yeah, it's it's weird. Anyway. In fact, that, uh, you probably played something different, because I don't, I didn't play probably, it. Probably, because I was playing it in the press bit. Ah. And you were on the show floor. Ah, so that's maybe why, because that sounds like, if it's, because the problem with Rayman Origin, especially if you play multiplayer, is that yeah you're right it takes a lot of coordination where you wouldn't necessarily think it does so if you're just still getting to grips and you're getting chucked into a really hard because rayman is really hard like the old games so the first one especially, the first one especially was quite hard so. exactly so that's probably mm. why you probably had such a tough time with it because it is actually it's really tough so with germany what did you see because i know you, again you, we've seen me and we were saying this, me and Germany, I keep when you Germany, it's really bad. Me and Daniel Carnero see entirely different things. We work on two different video teams, and what I see and feel is something completely different to what you see and feel, totally, which yeah. kind of makes this really difficult. Oh, totally. Well, yesterday it was all about Prey 2 for me. Oh, I yeah. was really, really, that it just looked like the game I wanted to play most. But today I finally saw SSX, and that game yeah. is pretty m fucking amazing. Like seriously, everybody uh, thought it was that it was going to be shit after the um, uh, Call of Duty trailer. <laughs> but <laughs> <they didn't know. laughs> it's completely different from that now. Well, not completely different, no. but they've changed a lot a bit yeah. since then. Uh, they changed quite a lot, and uh, that trailer was only focused on the survival side of of the game. But it's you have the survival side where you have like massive drops from from cliffs and stuff like that. But it's still an SSX game, so you have still huge ass incredible tricks. And the, n the the thing they are doing now that is brilliant, in my opinion, is they adapted the skate control to it. So you can play it all with the two sticks. And um, the guy from, from uh, EA Canada w uh, was playing it before uh, before me, and his score was 300,000. And that's considered quite good. So he's one of the main guys uh, playing the game at the studio. And I got up to 250,000 or 270. So I got quite close because I played a shit ton of skate and he was uh, standing next to me and he said okay you really know you, you're gonna know how to play this game from the beginning and there's no worry this game is gonna be br br really 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 brilliant 
Um, it was all pre-alpha code, so yeah, some bugs in it. Yeah, we see a lot it. of pre-alpha this yeah, time, which yeah. is fine because yeah, I'd rather yeah. see the game, especially get, I'd rather see early gameplay than have to wait for like the True. really polished yeah. stuff to come out, which can be frustrating because you just see trailers. I'm sick of seeing trailers for everything. And SSX is only com going to come out in 2012, so yeah, it's they, a long have, way off. they have a lot of time, and they are already further ahead uh, right now in development than the build we saw. So it's it's going to be a, an amazing game, and it's either SSX or Prey 2 for me right now for Game of the Show. I think for myself, um, for anybody who probably knows me, I saw Lollipop Chainsaw, and oh my god, mm, I'm really excited it. for it. Okay, it's not it's not going to break grounds in the fact that it's it's kind of brand new anything. It's a pr it's proper Studio 51 game, like it's basically a reskin of No More Heroes because it kind of awesome. plays the same. But you know, you've got the the cute little cheerleader girl. Um, and she's massive fucking chainsaw. She's a zombie hunter. <laughs> doesn't know why there's zombies everywhere. It's about fast battle, keyboard mashing, uh, combos, blood everywhere, you know, but blood that then spews rainbows. But aren't um, you kind of sick of zombies by now? Uh, yes, in the traditional zombie survival, but this isn't like that where, you know, it's not anywhere like any of It just happens to have zombies in it. Yeah, the zombies in this are more like kind of cartoony-esque yeah. zombies more than you kind of like, you know, George Romero, the one of the dead zombies. They're very much... S almost Saturday morning cartoons if Saturday yeah. morning if you're allowed to swear on Saturday morning and you know have blood and guts everywhere so much well, I say blood was and guts, so much rainbows. swearing wasn't there yeah. like even by my standards it was a lot of swearing it was like, like one boss everywhere. we saw it was like fuck this fuck that fuck you yeah um, it was like because you had to fight your, um, a teacher right yeah that was a teacher it. at like, first fuck it do your homework no I don't want to oh, you know, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> um, no it was it was really extreme I really liked it and it's a game that it's because I know I'd enjoy it like it probably would, I wouldn't imagine it'd be the longest game in the world, but I would love every single minute of playing it. Which so is it's very thing. similar to the feelings that I have for SSX. I yeah. know it's going to be great. However, DMC is my other contender for it I still because seen Lollipop it. at least still is just like I think me and Sita were saying off camera earlier on. It, it's not really breaching anything new. Yeah. It's stuff we've seen before. It yeah. feels like a lot of other games. Mm. Um, I, you know, it'll be very um. Bayonet, Bayonetta style where you're going back to get your high scores and combos which but it's has it's never really pulled me back into games anyway but isn't um, it similar is, isn't a DMC then similar to Bayonetta as well all, I saw, all, all the gameplay footage I saw that came out of, GD, uh, of Gamescom uh, was very Bayonetta-esque so which is a good thing because I love Bayonetta I think the color scheme than anything else is the way the environments look but when you consider that Devil May DMC no, is also previous ways. to other Devil May Cry ge games yeah, well, it's course. more like Bayonetta is more like Devil May Cry and it's the Devil May Cry guys who ended up doing yeah, Bayonetta, so... It, well, exactly. So you're always going to have similarities with those, but with Suda51, obviously, is nothing to do with that, so yeah, it makes yeah. a big difference. So I'm kind of still torn between DMC and uh, Lollipop Chase just for the, the sheer hell of it, because it's the only thing that I've looked at where I've just been like, <laughs> oh my god, you know, seriously? Um, I have to admit, a bit thin on the ground for new IPs. I mean, last year we saw Enslaved, and we were all, as, as people who read Destruct would know, just really, really went hell for leather for uh, Enslaved but there hasn't really been anything has it it's really got taken us by storm new IP wise to be honest no there's, there's not really much to no. see to be honest and even things like and the ones you do see are very similar to Lollipop Chainsaw and the fact that <laughs> they are um, they're about zombies and girls about and yeah exactly yeah. zombies <laughs> girls you know, you know just turned 18 so it's okay to perv a little bit <laughs> so it's um, they're games that yeah they're not really hugely innovative and they are very similar to other games in that kind of genre. Like, anyone who's played No More Heroes yeah. will be instantly, will e can easily pick up Lollipop Chainsaw and just go nuts. And obviously, and what we did see of Lollipop Chainsaw as well was, I know because it's really early build, it was just Monster Closet. It was like, you go one room, yep. zombies, you kill them, another room, zombies with a little bit of chat yeah, in like between. No nothing like, oh my God, that's so groundbreaking, that's so new and innovative. It, you know, it was just what you saw. But um, did see lots of other cool stuff. I know the community guys will be really happy that we saw uh, NC Soft, so we saw Guild Wars 2, yeah. um, and then you one as well, Wildstar, so we've spoken to them about that. Um, I know we had... Um, Gotham City Imposters. Oh yeah, how's that? It was really good. We had um a five we had quite a few people turned up. Yeah. So we had five detoiders playing against each other. Cool. It was really, cool. really good fun. I really enjoyed it. So I love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um but it, sad thing is even though you're not friends into friends buy it, that's the problem. Yeah. And and you I, I thought you weren't that much into competitive multiplayer. I with friends I'm fine. It's yeah, I just yeah, don't wanna yeah, be yeah. Ugh, I just public, don't wanna have yeah. to go on live into Xbox Live and have the whole fat ugly or slutty thing. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood for that. Thing is with Gotham City Imposters as well, is that it's it feels uh, quite old school and the fact yeah. that it's very fast, oh, you know, yeah. quick respawns, you just go in, you just mess around, yeah. and you shoot. Exactly. 
very similar to that kind of thing. And there's a lot of extra things. It's not just about, um, you know, just about the shooting. Yeah, you know, they were really funny about that. They really trying to put the emphasis on oh, the, the customization on this was just absolutely, you know, really in depth. And they kept saying, you know, for digital distribution, people were really surprised by how much you could get your teeth into it, yeah. which I think is a huge thing. All of the um, all of the uh, concept art they did for it just looks super crazy. Oh, the and concept funny. was amazing. It was yeah. loads of little in. And what else? Uh, Skyrim. I saw Skyrim. A quick a quick thing about new IPs. Uh, we need to go to the show floor and check out the Vita stuff because there's the game by Honey Slug. The guy, the the I want to keep calling him Honey Slut, and I know that's wrong, but it's Honey Slut. Beat that out now in, in editing. I know. No, uh, you don't. Okay. Beat out the Honey Slut in editing. Yeah. Okay. You're, you've changed, man. You've changed. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say gay. So. Guys. That's not what you said. That's not cool. <laughs> that's man. not what you said. Yeah, that, uh, anyway, um, yeah. So Skyrim. Um, the yeah, one thing I loved about Skyrim is like an hour long. But um, instead of just showing us like an epic boss fight, um, which is great and everything, but it doesn't really represent like how much of Skyrim you're going to be seeing because the yeah. game's massive. Yeah, so and it's going to be more. Us an yeah. hour of playing, an hour of just exploring, and it was really nice to see this is the game, not some massive thing they've pre-done for us to show us how fucking epic <laughs> it's going to be. No, <laughs> this is the game you'll be enjoying when you buy it, and that was really nice to see. Yeah, you didn't feel like they were fluffing it all up. For you to yeah, really yeah, yeah, over. yeah. Um, in fact, I'm now more excited about Skyrim seeing that than I was before. And really cool, they've changed the lock picking system. It now oh, is cool. exactly the same system from Fallout. Perfect. That's that's the system to to use for the yeah. kind of game. Um, Perfect. And that was kind of it for me. So I'm uh, on I a saw good day. um, uh, what was the name? Uh, the that robot shooting game uh, at Sega, um, Binary Domain. I saw oh, that I game. Saw I saw that too. Yeah. What did what did you think? Um, well, they have like that. Um, they have like an, a thing where characters bounce off of each other, and if they don't like each other, they won't respond to your help calls and stuff like that, which can be interesting, but it can also fall completely flat. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I wasn't really convinced because the way it happened, because like when they don't like you, they don't respond to you, they don't really help you out. Mm. So basically, what it comes down to is. You be nice to them, you get a you get a good experience of the game. You be yeah, horrible yeah, to them, yeah, yeah. the game yeah. sucks. Yeah. Basically, because that's what it comes down to. So there's no choice, really, because really? you you kind of have to be nice to everyone. Well, I interviewed a guy, and he said it's not as black and white as we think right now. Um, so watch the interview for for more Again. coverage on that game. But, but the robots look really cool. I like the way they fall apart when you shoot them. That that was nice. I like the style. It's a bit like Metal Gearish. And the way they like crawl around on the floor when you yeah. shoot the legs. You know, do you see? when you show off the head they just walk around yeah they just walk around aimlessly and they just shoot random people and I then yeah you just I go like, kick them over I did do that a lot today and uh, I saw Borderlands too. oh yeah and I interviewed Anthony Birch cool so and uh, yeah that was really interesting somebody uh, came up to me and was like oh my god you're from the drug toy can I get a picture with you and they didn't say oh my god are you Tara Long for once hmm. I was like oh my god finally <laughs> um, but Borderlands 2 fair play to them looks really amazing they were really humble like you know when you go see some developers and they were like yeah it'll be a new game you can have it they literally said like three or four times, you know, thank you so much to oh, not just the press, nice. the community for enjoying this game. You know, it means so much to us. And it was like really genuine as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, they made some great updates. They've genuinely listened to people and the game is being updated to bring a whole new level to it. And it looks fantastic. And yeah. their chairs at their presentation, the most comfortable thing I've sat in in the last three days. Because that's the most important thing oh in the world. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what though, talking about comfy chairs, the <laughs> Aliens Colonial Marines have the best comfy chairs in Gamescom. They were they're like proper cinema chairs, but they were like oh. almost almost like Lazy Boys. So they were amazing. Except you know they turn off the lights, show you Aliens Colonial, Marines, so you are kind of like every night they're like oh. So which wasn't exactly that comfy, but no, that that game actually was pretty good, but nothing again, nothing groundbreaking. It's what you expect. And there was nothing new from E3 basically. It was all. The same stuff, and I think it was extended by five. Yeah, it was minutes. a five minutes extended trailer, and that yeah. was it. So I uh, you know, like obviously, uh, it's we were some really tell. big fans of Aliens. On well, that, I, I do so. like Alien as well, but still, it's it's maybe too early to tell. Um, yeah, yeah. It looks like it'll be good, but I guess the question is how good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we can trust them, but we'll we'll see. I don't know about, about here since you're sitting up there, but this is getting quite uncomfortable. These chairs so are so soddingly uncomfortable. So um, that's it then, guys. That's uh, the wrap-up for day three here at Gamescom. We still don't have a game of the show. I think no, we'll, we'll do it tonight or tomorrow. No, we're still deciding game of the show. So I'm afraid you're going to have to watch the front page. And we're just going to have to decide, um, argue, um, 
duke it out back at the hostel yeah, um, about yeah. who wins. And literally whoever's going to punch the hardest, I think, is winning. So um, I've got rings on. So even though we're not going to do a rapper anymore, we're still going to run around yeah. the show floor and we're do random on the crap. Show floor and yeah. we have Brit Toid as well. We have a special edition yeah. Brit Toid since most of the crew are here. Um, so you have Brit Toid to look forward to as well. So uh, Destructoid, keep watching the front page. Bye-bye. <laughs>